All right, this is Andrew Jolly with Joda Home Inspections. Today is January 22nd, 2020, and we're at 437 East, 126 South in Draper doing a sewer scope. Uh, we've got the camera pushed out as uh, almost 150 feet, and I, I think I actually dropped into the city line. Um, oftentimes, I'm not, not able to even get my camera into the city line because of the the angle that it that it goes into that main line. Um, so we're seeing. Um, line that's, that's not actually your responsibility and I'll kind of uh, tell you when we get to your line or at least what where I think it transitions uh, but we're going to pull it back and record it and see what we find so again this part of the line doesn't make a big difference to you because it's not your responsibility but I'll record it anyway flush the toilet because I think I have something cut on the camera head. I'm going to run some water as I try to clear it off. Sometimes the camera head can fog up, but this one's uh, pretty blocked, so I think something's caught on it. There, it's starting to clear off. There it goes, finally. So this is where it's dropping into the city line right here, 92 feet out. Um, I'm going to turn the water off as I pull it back the rest of the way. So that's where it transitions into the city line. This is called the Nozon, and that's uh, one of the most important components. This one's dropping into the line uh, not at the bottom, but kind of in the middle, which is good. Uh, you don't want it to drop in right at the bottom or else uh, it's easier for it to back up if you have an issue with the city line. Uh, this is plastic pipe. This is PVC, and that's what they're still using on most new construction, which is great. Uh, you don't have a lot of the issues with PVC like you do some of the older types of pipe. PVC has less transitions and so there's less joints uh, where roots can come in. Even without trees you can have roots. This one's looking really good. Another thing that I'm looking at is if you have any standing water. Uh, that would indicate improper grade but this one's looking great. No standing water so far. That's a clean out right there. And so that's an access point somewhere in the yard. Uh, I haven't seen it, so it's probably buried, which is not uncommon, but if you ever have an issue, a drain company can locate it with sonar, and then they can dig it up so that you can use it. Uh, I accessed this today through a clean-out in the basement. Uh, there's a clean-out in the drywall in the living room. It's on the opposite wall of the toilet in the basement.
So this is all PVC, and then you have ABS where it transitions uh, into the house or uh, under the slab in the basement. That's pretty common. Uh, it performs the same way as PVC. It's a plastic pipe. I got something blocking my camera head now. Um, this is all under the house, and I was able to see this as I pushed out. Um, again, no standing water. I didn't see any offsets on any of the line that would indicate uh, that there's been separated joints. Sometimes you can get a separation, which which can cause a lip, and then things can catch on it. But I didn't find any of those here. So just to recap, you have uh, ABS and PVC. Your line's about 100 feet out, and it's, it's performing just the way that it should. So I'm going to end this recording now.